Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper. Uh, back with another colouring video for Purple Onion Designs. And today I've got this sweet little stamp from Stacey Yakula and it's called Sunny Blooms. I've got some Memento Rich Cocoa. So i just got a piece of vanilla cardstock. It's a smooth cardstock. And I'll stamp this in the center and just give that a couple of seconds to dry and I'm going to do some Copic coloring I'll have all of the colors listed at my blog and you can head on over there the link will be below this YouTube video so just focus on laying down a bit of color I want to put where my highlights going to be uh, in first and use the actual picture uh, see where the shadowing is I'll just follow that so my shadowing will be kind of where that is as well so because I'm coloring onto colored cardstock it won't be quite as vibrant as if I was coloring onto the um, nice bright whites but this gives you a different effect with your colours and I quite like it for a change. Might get that a bit deeper I'm thinking. I'm really just laying down colour until I'm happy with the result and then blending as well with the what I'm calling my medium colour. These colours I don't think they're with each other on the chart, it's just a combination I thought might look good, good together. <laughs> we'll see. And then I'll just go back and colour in with my highlight colour in the centre. You've got to remember that when you put Copic colour down, it will actually take away the colour that you're colouring onto. So I'll just let that bit dry. I might even come back and add a bit more colour to that. See how happy I am with the colours at the end. So Because I can always add more. And the other good thing about Copics is I can always add Prisma colour on top which I quite like the effect of. I don't tend to use my Prismas first just because they leave a, they're a wax pencil and they do leave kind of a film on the paper so I am going to mix those two mediums. I tend to colour with my Copics first and then use my Prismas after to add a bit of depth or shadowing so nice just to be able to use that too. And now the ink tents are in the mix as well. It's all fun and games. You be a bit careful with the reds, they tend to blend out into your cardstock and I find that the coloured cardstock doesn't hold the colour as well so but I figure these flowers are a little bit mussy anyway the edges aren't exactly perfect and flowers are never perfect so so I'll just keep adding some colour and I'll come back and put the card together
So I'm marking a piece of design paper. This is from a bundle of joy from Echo Park called Dots and Stripes. This is the, I think it's the girl, obviously it's got pinks and things in it, so it must be the girl one. They've got a girl and a boy and they're both really sweet. So I'll just cut this so it's a little bit smaller than my card front. It's a vanilla cardstock that I've got. The finished size of my card is 15 by 10 and a half centimeters and it's a side fold card. I don't tend to do a lot of side fold cards because I figure the comp all the companies do those so it's nice to do different ones. So often I use, I like top fold cards so I tend to focus on those a bit more and I have a, a die which is about the so I've already checked it against my image, so it's going to fit most of my image in there. And I'll place that where I want it on my design paper. So I want the design paper facing the way that I'd like it finished. So the good side of the design paper up, cutting side of my die down. And to make sure that it doesn't slip while, it's, while I'm running it through my die cutting machine, I'll place a little bit of low tack adhesive on there. Put the edges looking not quite so raw so I'll use some frayed burlap distress ink and just a blending tool so I don't end up with too much ink on the edge. I'm just going to run that around the edge of my design panel and I'll work out where I want my image to sit. I'll just mark where I want to cut that. Okay, so I have some double sided tape that I'll just apply to my image here. that down and work out my sentiment. Not just tie it to a bow. So I'm going to use the sentiment from what's it called? the Doodle Flower sentiment set. And this one says enjoy. So I've just tied two lots of hemp twine together to create a bow. And then I'll attach this to the front of my card. Secure, I like to secure my bows with the glue dots. Because I've got the tag there, I'll use that to tuck that in as well. So. put that glue dot right underneath where the bow has been tied. Well, I've really had so much fun today colouring with Copic markers and using the Prisma pencils together in a card. I think they look really great together. And you can find all the stamps that I've used at Purple Onion Designs or I'll have the links over at my blog. So thanks for watching and happy paper crafting. Bye.